Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. What an absolute crazy day one of the web app in FIFA 23. It almost feels like EA have ruined this web app with the changes that they made that we had no idea were coming. I want to talk about why the market's in shambles. SBCs can't be completed properly. EA made the advanced SBC rewards untradeable, and that's really what's making the market super duper dead right now because we don't have tradable pack supply coming out of these SBCs. That's literally the first time since these SBCs were ever introduced. I think it was like FIFA 17 where we had the advanced SBCs for the first time. This is the first year they've ever made them untradeable. Big disappointment and it's killing the market. There's SBCs that aren't able to be completed because of, like, I don't know, a glitch. There's price ranges that are messed up. You can only be listing 30 cards at a time on your transfer list. That's a whole glitch situation that's going on. It just is not that great right now on the web app. And to think that we have five more days of this is not very enlightening. So I want to take a look today at how you can maybe try to make this period a little bit more fun and how I think that today actually we might have some of our first content with marquee matchups and that could make the market move a little bit more and also talk through some coin making methods what I'm doing on this game right now. I'm just shy of about 60k um, and I only had one semi good pack pull yesterday. It was a 10,000 coin inform that I quick sold for 10,000 coins. I'm up to about 60k we're grinding hard, but it's it's tough, and I'm with you. It is very hard to make coins right now because of the way that the market is. So if you're excited for day two of FIFA 23, hit the thumbs up, subscribe if you're new, all that good stuff. Thanks for the uh, support on the streams, the videos. You guys are absolutely loving the content, and I'm loving helping you and putting out as much possible content as we can. So I appreciate all the support. It is, of course, very much appreciated. So let's dive into it again, though, and just talk about what is going on with this market and what is making this thing just feel kind of like dead you know that's how the market feels right now like i said everybody yesterday got on the game they opened up their welcome backpacks and of course open up your preview pack just in case you were able to get anything insane but that was the only pack supply that we had to hit the market think about it right nobody can open fifa points the button is up here but if you click the plus and you go in the playstation store it like doesn't let you some people have fifa points somehow showing up in the top but even packs right now you can see are blurred out you can't open 7.5k packs with fifa points um and i don't i think that's for everybody i don't just think that's because i don't have fifa points loaded up i'm not entirely sure but all i know is very few people if at all anybody is able to access fifa points right now so there's just not much supply and that's the opposite of what we were thinking was going to happen because we thought these advanced sbcs were going to have the tradable rewards, right? And since we don't have much supply, the market is just absolutely dirt cheap. I mean, Messi, I was expecting the market to be pretty cheap, but Messi is 100,000, 90,000 coins for Messi. Like, this is crazy how cheap some of these cards are. If you don't know where to find prices, Footbin has some of them, right? If you go on Footbin, or sorry, Footwiz, Footbin, as far as I'm concerned, does not have any prices right now. I've been checking their website to see if they've got things updated, but they don't. Footwiz.com um, is usually second tier to Footbin. I like Footbin a lot, but Footwiz does have a deal with EA. They have some ties with EA. So I think they get this information a little bit faster and they have prices right now. So you can see Anthony, 19K. Vinny Jr. was a card that had a lot of fluctuation. We'll talk about fluctuations in the market and how I think there could be more today in a bit, but like all around, prices are stupid cheap. Kevin De Bruyne was 70,000 coins. He's now 95K, but that's just ridiculously cheap. Holland's 35,000 coins, guys. Like this stuff is crazy how cheap it is, but it's because nobody can get coins right now. Nobody can make coins or open packs to get coins because there's just no tradable supply. So that's kind of where we're at with the market. And that's why it's hard to make coins as well. Yesterday at the beginning, when everybody was logging in and doing that first SBC, right? The foundations one, which you had to do this to be able to go and unlock all the other SBCs. It was decently easy to do, but it required bronze players. And that's where I had the most success trading on the market was with bronze cards. Yesterday, you can see I sold a lot of bronzes, a lot of Brazilians, a lot of your top nine nations and your top five leagues, which is what we talked about recently um, in a couple of videos prior on the channel was, you know, like Brazil center backs, I think we're selling for around like a thousand coins or 1200 during the day yesterday. Right now they're a little bit cheaper, but it's because there's a couple of SBCs that you need to have specifically 
center backs in that SBC. So I've just been trying to sit here and snipe these Brazilian center backs for anything less than like 700 coins to sell for a thousand. It's tough, right? This is the type of grinding trading that you have to do to make coins in this market just because there is so little supply and there's little, so little that you can do on this game at the moment. It's even hard to snipe when you have ranges this small because you have to keep updating your ranges and try to hopefully find some undercuts pretty soon because yeah, it's just it's just a grind right now on this market to make coins. It is tough. So that's what I, if I were to give you any tips, again, think about what people are doing. They're doing these SBCs, even though the packs are untradeable, some people are still going out and getting these SBCs done. I mean, it's actually a pretty good value to do the hybrid leagues and nations. If you know you have maybe 50,000 coins plus, maybe start to slowly work on these because man, a 100k pack at this stage of the game, that's pretty sick. Um, and you know, it is untradeable, but you could set yourself off on the right foot really, really well. So I wouldn't spend very many coins doing this, but if you have a few extra to maybe go in there and spend, those are really, really good value because since these are untradeable, nobody's going out and doing these SBCs. So usually some of your, you know, even your gold Brazilian center backs that would maybe sell for like four to 500 coins at all times. Some of these guys, I mean, they're all discard, like gold cards, especially in terms of non-rares, feel like they're all discard on the market right now. Another thing I would tell you to do is watch out for position changes. And this is some place where I've been making a little bit of coins. I'm gonna use a good example of a starter card, right? Because some people are actually building starter teams, which I think is not a very good idea, but some people are still going out and doing it. Timber is actually getting pretty cheap right now. 3.1K, he was he was over four, it was like four and a half K, um, you know, about five hours ago when I got off the stream. Uh, prices are still fluctuating. Supplies coming in, supplies going away. You know, there's a whole lot going on with this market. But, you know, with these cards that have the really nice position changes and cards that are definitely valuable for early game teams like this Timber, I think with he sells for about 4.2K as a right back position change. And of course, like we just looked up, his card without that position change is selling for 3.2K. So, you know, if you can find a snipe here on a, on a Timber card that has that position change on it, and then of course sell it for more, that's a good thing to look for. So those are the two ways that I would be trying to make coins on the market right now. Like Timo Werner has a left wing position change. And let's see, what's his cheapest card? 9.2K, 8.9. And if he's in his normal striker position, what is he like 6,000 coins or something? Yeah, 5.9K. So, you know, it's, it's tough to make coins, but those are maybe some of the ways that you can do that. And again, just try to think about what players people are buying. They're either buying players for their starter team or they're buying some of these guys to get SBCs done, like maybe a few silvers, maybe a few bronze cards, stuff like that. That's why you can see all my transfer targets. Those are the types of cards that I'm looking at. Lissandro Martinez, Man U, is another good item to look at, right? He, his card's like 2,500 coins or something, really, really cheap for his center back base position, 2,900, right? But position change to center defensive mid, what's he sell for? 5k right that's that's a good card like i would maybe try to sit here and snipe a martinez you're not going to see very many of them that pop up and he might not actually sell for 5k you might have to list that at like you know three and a half or 4k to get anybody to buy it right you can't get too greedy because people also don't have a lot of coins so that's the whole part of the market right now that's super frustrating and super tough it just feels dead but as i said today on thursday could bring us some supply and it could shake things up because thursdays are always marquee matchup days right and we do have some games coming up this weekend i know it's international break so we have some different countries playing against each other i have no idea what sort of games will be featured if they do marquee matchups today which i'm i'm pretty positive they will do marquee matchups so this this to me is more of, of a kind of guaranteed type thing watch out for leaks on twitter by the way because we did have leaks for um, the marquee matchups, or sorry, for the team of the week that was released, of course, on the game yesterday. We had leaks for that about an hour before. So we've had marquee matchup leaks in the past. If that SBC is coming today, you might see some leaks about that as well. So I would watch out for those leaks. But players from the nations that will be in marquee matchups, if the packs are tradable, there will be a huge draw to be to do that marquee matchups SBC. So you're going to want to watch the requirements for that. If they require a certain club, if they require a certain nation, especially if it's bronzes or silvers, those could be cards that move exponentially on the market very, very fast on today's game. We'll have to see if EA, the EA will probably have to be very careful with those requirements because they know there's not a lot of supply on the market. So we'll see what they do with that. 
but that will bring supply to the market. And that could mean that some of your players like a timber. This is why I was telling you guys not to buy a team because any little bit of supply like this, yeah, this guy right now is like 35 or 3,200 coins, whatever we just looked at. You know, a couple of tradable packs put in through SBCs could literally make this guy go to 2K in not a very, in a very short time span. Like the market could move a lot based on, you know, how little supply that there is right now. Also, that means that if there is supply put on the market today and if people are able to open packs, that means more coins are going to be generated from quick selling cards and just opening packs in general, right? A positive market uh, coin balance comes on in the market when packs are opened, uh, especially via SBCs like that. So people are going to have more coins for top tier players and you're going to want to watch these players. Like if you have, I, I really think that some of these informs are super duper duper rare and their prices are going to fluctuate more today. You know, this this Fede Valverde card is, you know what, 52,000 coins? Like, that's too cheap. That really is way too cheap. So if you get to a place today where you have a decent amount of coins, whatever it may be, however you've arrived there, you know, some of these Team of the Week cards, I really like Valverde, I really like Hyunmin Sun, and I really like Kevin De Bruyne. Some of the rare cards, G Sung Park at 88K for a hero card. Uh, what was one of the crazy prices that I saw yesterday? Oh, I know nobody has like 250k right now, but Yaya Torre for 241,000 coins, 81k, 85k on bid. This guy is about to go for. That is disgusting. That I mean, you are gonna make so many coins if you can get enough coins to go and maybe buy one or two of these hero cards or even some of these other gold players on the market, like Edu Militao, 46k. That's really cheap. Dybala, 13k. That's really cheap. Stuff like that, you know, you obviously want to try to look towards cards that are more rare, that are higher rated, that of course are very popular because those are the ones you're going to want to put your coins in um, and those have the ones with a better potential to rise. That's why I'm shouting heroes. That's why I'm shouting your most elite players and Kunku at 43K, Neymar at 180, Messi under 100K, ridiculous prices, right? So if you're somebody that has some coins, you could look to do that and sit on those cards or if you packed one of those players, people were coming in the stream yesterday and be like, Nate, I packed, you know, X player. I packed Dybala. Should I hold or sell? And I was telling you to hold, right? Because Dybala is 13K right now. I would not be surprised if Dybala ends up being 30, 40, you know, 30, 40,000 coins by the time we get to next Tuesday. Because again, people will be getting on the market. They'll be opening their FIFA points and they will get coins. And that is just going to be huge for the market and huge for this game. So that's what I would tell you to do. If you pack anybody that's worth more than like 10K that's high rated, hold on to that card for Sure. So that's kind of what's going on with the market right now. Also, as I mentioned with some fluctuations, there are people that were buying up some cards in the past few hours. I've seen some prices go up. Vinny Jr. was like 60K. Now he's 95,000 coins. Again, there's no gameplay demand right now. You have to be very, very careful with these cards um, because as you can see, three numbers, three owners here, no games played, obviously. So there's people that are trading with these cards and they've seen their prices go up. I think that you might see some players today actually drop like Anthony. Anthony was like 15K. I think a lot of people are making coins on him right now. If that's you, I would sell him. I would get him out. Even though these prices seem very, very low, if we get supply today, which we are 100%, even if we don't get marquee matchups, we will get another round of preview packs. And let's say you pack Anthony in your preview pack. You're buying that preview pack with 7,000 coins because you're going to sell that Anthony and make coins. So your players that are 10K and above today might take a hit in price around that, you know, 640, 140 p.m. Eastern, basically 45 to 50 minutes to an hour after the content drop. People will be able to open their preview packs again and you will see some supply for those cards that are a bit more expensive because people will open that pack for free. Then they'll go buy the pack with their 7,500 coins or whatever it is. And they will, you know, attempt to sell that card and make profit. So I think you will see some supply come on the market today. Watch those player prices drop. There could be opportunities to trade again today on Thursday in that sort of realm as well. So that's what I think for the market. Again, it's tough to make coins right now, but if you're out here grinding, I applaud your efforts. I appreciate your efforts. And you know, I mean, you're going to appreciate your efforts too, because putting in the time right now to try to snipe some of these, even like bronze defenders, like how much are bronze defenders from Argentina? Okay. That's probably too wide of a search filter. Let's go center backs, right? Bronze center backs. Okay. Those don't sell GG's bronze left backs or something like that from Argentina. Those don't sell. Maybe Argentina is not a good nation to do. How about France? 
France left backs. Okay, I'm just, you know, we're striking out on all these filters, but this is the kind of stuff that you have to be looking for on the market. Let's go center mid, right? Center mid seems to be a pretty good one. Okay, boom. Um, boom, 750. Nice. Bronze. Let's go. Okay, now we're cooking, right? We found some bronze players that sell for 750 to 800 coins. Yes, 800 coins for all center mid position changed bronze cards. I bet even the common ones sell for more because those are the ones that are needed in the SBCs. They sell for a little bit more. We'll try to snipe all of them, right? So 850, I'm going to try to snipe these guys, you know, for like 650 coins, maybe if it's possible to try to sell at like 800, right? So ooh, this the Silva guy is one that I sold earlier. And then some of these guys sell for a little bit extra as well, right? Like 800, there's a lot of there for 1K compare price on a card if you don't know it and then you know just try to snipe right because the different leagues might help you out it's it's grindy and it sucks but that's the that's the way that we have to try to make coins right now uh, because you know some people are opening bronze pack method which that's where your bronze supply is coming from and it is a little bit profitable but it's it's hit or miss right i'll try to open one pack right now and see what happens it might work a little bit better today heading into content that's a center back that might sell for at least a little bit if i get lucky no, it doesn't sell for anything. Ooh, a German left wing. This might sell. Ayo, there we go. Boom, 350. Bang. Now we're making some profit. I'm going to list that for 700, and that is basically the price of the pack back. So I'm making coins. Anything else I can make from this will be a W. And I'm going to send those guys to the club because they might be useful in a future SBC. You know, a manager probably not going to sell any of this stuff. You check it just in case, but it's probably not going to sell either. So. You know, that's right there. Like if I sell that card, I made maybe 200 coins on that pack. My quick sold value is 200 coins, right? I probably should have sent the others to the club, but it is what it is. You know, that's the risk that you're running with bronze pack method. It sometimes works. It sometimes doesn't. So that's a lot of market talk, but I know that's what a lot of you guys are focused on right now and wanting to hear about. So that's what I wanted to speak about in today's video. Once again, let's talk a bit, a little bit more about some of those glitches that are going on that I mentioned, because if you're like, Nate, why can't I do this foundations three SBC with the better buildup? You know, that's just an EA glitch. I don't know what's going on there. Hopefully they tweet about it. Hopefully they fix something about it. The transfer list, as I mentioned, you're like, Nate, you have so many cards right now on your transfer list. And I just sold something, probably that card that I just tried to flip. That must have been a successful flip on the um, card that I packed from Bronze Pack Method. So that's a GG. But anyways, um, you know, you have 92 items in your transfer list. Why? You said there's a max of 30. It's actually you can only sell 30 cards at one time. And there is a way to work around it. And I'll post a link to a tweet down in the description. You have to like press F12 on your keyboard and go into the back end of the web app website and change it manually. It's a little bit sus. I'm not a huge fan of it. And I don't know what EA thinks about it, of course, but it's something that you can do to try to fix that up and to make that a little bit better. If you're somebody who's gonna be grinding the trades or doing bronze pack method, you need to have more than 30 players selling at a time. I hope that's a glitch because uh, you know that would be a big problem if that is something that's an actual limit on the game for the whole entire year. That would be a big, big problem. So there was that glitch and that thing that's going on. And then there's some really weird price ranges. Like if we take a look at Ruben Diaz, his minimum price range is 136,000 coins. And look at all these that are on the market that people have packed. This guy right now should be like, you know, 10K on the market. That's what he should be. But his price range is 136 minimum. So there's a problem with him there. Again, if you're if you're trying to find players to, to trade with, um, and look at some prices and figure out if a player is messed up in price or not. Here's what I would tell you to do. Go to FootWiz, click on FIFA 23 players, and you can click on this buy it now, like right here. Click there, and then it'll sort all the players from highest buy it now all the way down. So you can see we're right here at 300K. Neymar, 169,000 coins. Diego Forlan, 140K. That's so cheap, right? Ridiculously cheap. I'm going to click next, right? And what I want to do is just show you how there's so many players that are within like the 10 to 15K range or even the five to 10K range that you can look at and, and see all these prices kind of in one long list. And this is kind of how we have to do it until these uh, websites really start to figure out the price ranges and get them right and they're updating pretty fast. A lot of cards are stuck at 12K. Dusan Tadic is not a 12K card. Di Maria is not a 12K card. Carvajal, probably not. Bono, 84 rated, no way. Jack Grealish, Matip, they're not 12K cards in this market. So there's a lot of price ranges that are stuck there. Uh, even some price ranges stuck at 10K, but now we're inside the 10K range, right? You know, maybe a guy like Mares, Carrasco, Zaha, Tonali. Look for players that have position changes that are in, 
uh, pop popular cards for starter squads like the St. Juice Day at 7k. Stay far away from that. Sell that ish if you have it. Adama Traore 6.9k. Kamavinga 6.5. Sell that as well. Werner 6.2. We looked at him. Verissimo 6.2k. Please sell that type of card. Emre Chan 6k. Sell that type of card, right? Yuri's at 5.9. That might be a buy, let's be honest. Kim Min Jae at 5.9. That's a sell too. But what this can do is just find you a bunch of cards you can trade with because these are the type of players people are buying for their team. Dan James 5.2k, right? That's something I maybe do and, and look on the market for like a Daniel James that is position changed because he's got so many different position changes that you can put him into. Dan James, what's he on the market? We just looked at 5.9K or, you know, 4, 4K? Is that what he was? 4,500 coins. Did we have a little undercut there at 4.3? What did Footman say again? Dan James is a 5.2. Can we get a, how long ago was that updated? One hour ago. That's the other issue with this stuff is that sometimes it's not updated right away. So that, that 4K went away, but you know, that's how you can try to find cards to trade with today that are in a certain position change or a certain price range actually is the better way to say it. Boom, 6K with the price or with a position change. So that's kind of what you can do there, but watch out for those price range issues on FootWiz on the market and watch out for maybe a little bit of panic selling. Like I mentioned before 6 p.m. UK as well. Some of these cards that people are trying to trade with, people are gonna get worried about marquee matchups, worried about supply. You might see people sell off those cards before we head into the content drop today. Now, last thing really quickly, I want to talk to you guys about the pitch notes because I, I know there's a ton of information here and there's a, we could talk a whole 20 minute video on this stuff because there's a lot going on here, but I want to give you guys a quick run through and I'll put the link to this as well in the description. Uh, early access, we know about that. Uh, Silver Stars Foot Friendly will start next week after the game is released. That's a GG. Ones to watch promo this year is very interesting. It's only one week long there's only one team of ones to watch hopefully there's still a lot of players hopefully it's 23 players right ones to watch 23 fifa 23 that'd be like a full squad plus the bench plus the reserves hopefully it's a 23 man squad for this promo and what that the biggest part about that is if you ordered the ultimate edition the ones to watch pack untradeable we don't have to save it for two weeks this year we only have to save it for like five days because the ones to watch promo starts on the 30th and then from October 2nd on, actually it's only three days, the whole ones to watch team and the mini release will be in packs and also packable from that um, that that free ones to watch item pack. So that's a big W. And hopefully we get more ones to watch players announced as well. We still only have these four guys, but that's a big news about ones to watch. Team of the week cards are gonna have bigger boosts this year. Um, and also they're gonna upgrade skill move and weak foot as they show here in this graphic. Uh, they're going to upgrade skill move and weak foot on featured team of the week items and player of the months as well. They said that they did this because a few occasions players had like lower rated items, uh, but due to the upgrade path, they felt very underwhelming. We definitely experienced that. Think about Lay Normand player of the month type thing last year. So they're going to be, they're going to do bigger overall increases on player stats. And of course, upgrade skill move and weak foot for player of the month and featured team of the week, which is a nice one. These are all the heroes that are in packs right now. We've seen them on the market. They're dirt cheap. Buy them if you have enough coins. <laughs> They'll rise. These cards are going to be in packs, of course, for the World Cup on November 11th. So the uh, Foot Hero Marvel cards there for that. And then this is the big news, Icons. Icons are now going to be a part of promos, just like Foot Heroes are. So there's only going to be three types of icons this year. There's going to be base, mid, prime and then also campaign icons which replace icon moments so no more no more icon moments now they're going to have campaign icons which will be released during different promos and as they say in here the first time they're going to do that uh is during the world cup we look forward to introducing fifa world cup icons our very first campaign icons as part of the fifa world cup plans stay tuned for details so that's a huge W. There's going to be World Cup heroes and also World Cup icons. That is very nice. They also changed the FIFA point options you can buy in the store. They just gave you less options and made some of the FIFA point changes different. I don't think it's any different like value-wise. It's just, I guess they wanted to clear up the store a little bit. I don't know. And then preseason rewards, they didn't give us an exact date for when those will be um, issued, uh, but it said it'll be before October 13th. Hopefully it's like next week when we get on the game for the first time. So I know the web app right now, we talked a lot about market. Yes, my freaking Dybala sold, man. Let's go, 36K coins. If I sell Rafinha, I'm probably on about 55K-ish, somewhere around there and other other couple cards I have in the club still. So 
We're going to try to get this coin balance up as high as possible. I know it's tough right now. The web app feels deflating. It feels tough. It feels hard. And it's like, Nate, I don't want to do this for another five days. I understand that. But I think today the market will fluctuate some more if they drop marquee matchups. That will be a great thing for the game today. It'll give us something to do on the web app, some packs to maybe go and get, and some fluctuation on the market. So I'm very much looking forward to that on the game today. Again, thanks for the big support in the videos. You guys are absolute legends. If you enjoyed today's video, smash a thumbs up, comment down below if you have any questions, and subscribe if you're new. It's been Nate, the Foot Accountant. Catch you guys later. Peace out.